Hello friends, let us study about the types of postural reflexes. The postural reflexes, they help to keep, to maintain the body in upright and balanced position. They also help in making necessary adjustments to maintain a stable posture during voluntary activity. Suppose you are making a dynamic movement. You require certain reflexes. We classify them on the basis of, you know, in two ways. One is called as static reflexes. The other is called as statokinetic reflexes. Static reflexes are elicited by gravitational pull. And so they involve muscle contraction. How about statokinetic reflexes? Statokinetic reflexes, they involve your phasic reflexes. And they are elicited by either acceleratory displacement of the body. And then it comes as if, you know, it tries to maintain the stable posture background for voluntary activity. We are going to go into these huge classifications and then we are going to study them in detail. If it comes to a reflex, we should, we all know there are five components of a reflex. So similarly for a postural reflex, there has to be the receptors, there has to be afferent pathways, there has to be integrating center and there has to be an efferent pathway. For any posture, we know what are the receptors. The receptors are your proprioceptors. So for a posture, the receptors are the proprioceptors. And we know who all are my proprioceptors. They can be muscle spindles, your Golgi tendon organs, the muscle sensors, they can be the proprioceptors. Then it comes the uh, muscle joint. You know, we have the joints, we have the tendons, we have the ligaments, who all are going to act as a proprioceptors. Then there is an afferent pathway. For a posture, we actually have three different uh, afferent pathways coming from. One is the visual stimuli. You know, you see and so you know how to maintain your posture. Next is vestibular apparatus. And we have seen it in detail. That vestibular apparatus, which mainly consists of the autolith organs and the semicircular canals, they sense the position of your head in a linear acceleration, in a rotational basis or in an angular acceleration. And depending on that movement of your head, they erect the posture and they have a huge connection from the vestibular apparatus to different parts. One is to the spinal cord, other is to the cerebellum. Then, then it also affects, you know, visual. We have the visual ocular reflexes and then we have information going to the cortex where we become very conscious about our position and posture. Then is the proprioceptors. Definitely from proprioceptors, we have the ascending fibers which ascend up through the dorsal column tract as conscious proprioception. And then we have information from the proprioceptors which is carried by the dorsal uh, from the spinocerebellar tract to the cerebellum as unconscious proprioception. Then comes your integrating centers. Who all are your integrating centers? Local center is your spinal cord. Okay. Then comes the higher centers. The higher centers can be your brainstem. Then there can be center involvement of cerebellum. There can be also involvement of the basal ganglia. And to some extent, there might be an involvement of the cortex also. Then what is my efferent pathway? Efferent pathway is actually going to be my final common pathway. Whom do we record it as alpha motor neuron?